I know this is a, looks like a failure to anyone that knows how to TIG weld, but I'm pleased because it was difficult for me to figure out how to melt this aluminum to get it to really penetrate and stick together, and I got it to do that, although I made it look really ugly, but I was going to cut all these parts off anyways to give it some shape. So it's a failure, but it's also a success for me. I feel like I just learned a little bit about TIG welding. better.
underneath a literal case of Mexico, because if a huge group of people first serious attempt at TIG welding and I, and I jumped right in with aluminum which is even trickier but I'm super pleased with the way it came out because it works and it's not falling apart. Now the wells aren't beautiful uh, with practice I will hopefully get better at that but that's okay with me because I decided instead of just like practicing to get like a perfect line I wanted to just two feet in the fire just jump in and make a project and I did. Uh, hopefully I will continue to grow and get better at it. I want to thank Eastwood very much for making this video and that guitar possible. Uh, I especially want to thank Matt over at Eastwood for all of his tech support uh, via email and also for Matt's work that he does on the YouTube channel that Eastwood has. He shows a lot of tips and tricks on metal fab and TIG welding. So 
come to this video for the inspiration to want to learn to TIG weld and then go to those videos to actually learn how. Um, thanks again, Matt. Thanks again, Eastwood. Uh, there's also a link in the description that will bring you to the actual machine that I use to make that guitar. If you click that link, it helps me. You don't have to buy anything, so I'd appreciate that. Thank you very much. And also, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, it means a lot to me, and uh, you know, so let your aluminum crazy guitarist friends know about it or whatever. <laughs> All right. I'll see you around the interweb. Be good.